Welcome back to Izzo Math, and we are going to continue to explore MATLAB a little bit. In this video, we will focus on creating matrices, do a little bit of row and column indexing, and some concatenation. Okay, that sounds like a fun word, huh? So the first thing, let's let's create some matrices. So let's create, let's just say, let's call it matrix. Matrix equal matrix equals and let's just be simple one two three that's going to give me one comma two comma three is going to give me my first row and then semicolon that's going to give me a new row four five six semicolon seven comma eight comma nine all right we'll see here that that gives me my matrix with the the commas give me the different in one row it gives me my different columns and then when we hit the semicolon, that gives me a new row. Okay? So we have that. Um, let's look at creating a matrix for my data. So let's load our data here. And let's say we want to, uh, let's say we want a matrix that gives me the data for gas prices for a couple of different countries. Let's say, I want, it's called American process. We want, let's see my column headers. Oh, there we go. So let's say we want the Canada, what else? America, Mexico and USA. So in the, the continents, North and South America, USA here. So, so let's call it American process. A M E R I C American process. And let's do Canada, Mexico, comma, USA. Let me hit the up arrow because I made a mistake and now you can't go in, you can't go up here and edit. You have to hit the up arrow to to pop up what you last done and this hit equals. So now we see that we have this created Canada was a column vector, and so the comma, and then another column, Mexico, then another column, USA. So here are all the gas prices for, um, let me close that out so we can see it. So here are all the gas prices for Canada, Mexico, and the USA. And let's say we want the mean of each one of those. Let's type in mean of American prices. Okay, so that's going to give me a mean of each column there. So, uh, from these years, what years were we looking at? So, 90 to 2008, the average gas price in Canada was, uh, you know, two dollars and nine cents. In Mexico, a dollar and seventy-eight cents. In the United States, about a dollar and sixty cents. Let's do how could I get the average altogether of all of these? Let's, so it's only going to give us an average of one single column or one single row. <clears throat> so let's say American prices, and I'm not going to capitalize anything this time, equals Canada, which is a column vector. And then if I hit a semicolon, I believe that's going to put Mexico directly under Canada and USA directly under Mexico, so it should just give me one big column. Yes, with all of my gas prices from all three of those countries. So now if I hit mean, American gas, yes. American gas prices, what did I call that thing? American prices. So I hit my up arrow. I'm just going to take out gas. And so for, for Canada, Mexico, and the United States, all three of those countries, between the years 1990, uh, 1990 and 2008, the average gas prices were $1.82 per gallon. Okay, That doesn't sound so bad. If we want to just pull out any anything in a in a vector. So 
So let's look at data here and say I want to pull out um, right here that dollar seventy three there. So we just say data, which is the name of this variable, comma, and then we tell it the row we want. The row is row three, and let's yeah row three comma three. All right, that gives me that dollar seventy three there. Let's do another one here. Let's do so we want that three eighty seven there. So that's going to be row 10, column 6. So data, row 10, column 6. Okay? Let's say we want the gas prices in the 90s for, for three countries. Okay? Let's do the, the fourth, the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth co uh, countries here. What are those? Column headers. Let's make France, Italy, and Mexico. So we'd say data. We want the 90s. So that would be uh, my rows would be row 1 through 10. So 1 colon 10. That will give me rows 1 through 10. And we want columns. 6, 8, and 10. How long so I'll just say 6, 8, 10. And let's name that. What was 6? Italy, Mexico, and UK. Italy. Italy. Mexico, UK, 90s, equals. Okay, so that gives me the gas prices in the 90s for Italy, the first column there, first column would be Italy, second column would be Mexico, and the third column is the UK. And you can pull out any using you can pull out any kind of data you want and using that colon operator you see there that makes it a lot easier to pull out the data that you need um, let's see do I have anything else that I'm, I'm wanting to uh, do some concatenation so let's clear the screen CLC bam there we go let's well we've really already done concatenation. Concatenation is just going to be stacking some some vectors on top of each other. Um, so let's say A equals 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be one row vector there. 1, 2, 3. B equals um, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so we've got these two vectors and we can say A, B equals a comma b what's that going to give me so that puts them so that takes a and then puts b right after it in one column there if i want to make a matrix c with a on top and b on bottom let's say a b equals a semicolon b you see that gives me this metric here that is two by three and I think that's about all I want to do with this video where are we at? about nine minutes here so yeah that should give you plenty to play with again let me know if you have any questions comment in our in the YouTube comments down there and I can kind of try to address any questions you have okay all right good luck playing with MATLAB